sort of same size and shape. Okay. Yeah, it was just kind of interesting that originally. Say we shall see in a minute. So this is the uh, backing bag and what Charlie is. You can see the painter lines right here where it's coiled together. And then it goes to a trip line. He's going to take that off right now. And All right, so that white thing is That's part of the line. That's line, exactly. Where's the CO2 carbon? You can see the head of that yeah. cylinder right down there, uh -huh. right under his arm. That's where the, the cylinder lays lengthwise along okay. the bottom of that container. Does it? Yeah. The more tunnels you have to go through, the worse it gets. Oh, I'll bet. Now this uh, plastic part, just does it just fall away? Exactly, the okay. containers will fall away. So like all of that that you're having to unknot and pull out, that will otherwise just stay attached until we cut it. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll show you where it attaches to the, the wrap itself once it gets it out. All right, there's the little bottle. Again, you can see that the pull tab on it, which is that uh, metal line, and pull it, but that's what activates the cylinder. Okay, after yeah, exactly. after that whole length yep. has been pulled out. Okay. Exactly, and what it's got is a little trip line at the very end. And then it pulls that cylinder. So what you're undoing right there is undoing the trip areas that won't trip it. Yeah, well that's actually where it's vacuum sealed bag and all the air gets sucked out of that. And that's the seal between the neck on the cylinder and the bag itself. So right now he's just undoing all the time he had that, uh, that seal. Explodes on its own. That's all going to just pop right yeah, off. Yeah, it all explodes all apart. Same thing with the bursting strap. This is those orange strap. All that will come out of the wayside. It'll pop up. So it's seriously some pressure behind it. If it's going to pop yeah. off the straps off of there, also. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of pressure. We figure this probably inflates in. What do you say, typical Charlie? Seconds. How many? 60 seconds. 60, but by the time it's fully inflated. Yeah. But I mean, it's got good size in 25 or 30 seconds, so it's coming out pretty, pretty fully fast. Fully inflated the, with the leaf valve blowing at 60 seconds, but once it first takes a shape, it's 25, under 30 seconds. They come out. <laughs> good. If I'm throwing it over, I want it to. It's a, yeah. Take so Charlie's going to do is take loose that hose and then I'll take put the a cylinder a, off and let you have it. Yeah, we'll just leave this. Yeah, take a cylinder off. Yeah. And just, I don't uh, want to. Yeah. To go off on it. Exactly. So I'll show you where the, the main line is. Just being in that back and pack bag that is going to stay dry. Exactly. And that's really where the yachting racks have come a long way. They used to. I've been, uh,
rebound to Chad Blair. With all that gas in there, you've got to have some let off. You don't notice as much. But you can see how quickly it came up just on regular. Is that similar air. to the. Well, what I read back, way back when, when they first designed them, they were yearly wrapped, and everybody's moved over to three years. Okay. Now, so when it inflates, this is not going to be like flopping down for us to pull in it. Yeah, basically, on, on the, the older models, they have uh, on this side. This is, they have, they were designed with a, a stirrup to get in. Mm -hmm. um, so a foot on there, a knee on there, then, you know, pull your way through. This goes all the way. That's just to grab onto. Exactly. Okay. And that's what they call an entry ladder. Um, and so is this? This is where the bottle, this is where the manifold is. So the bottle will actually sit under, remember it was tied in. On, so the bottle will be strapped in here, like where we're getting in. Exactly, up, up underneath here further. But you can see this is where that strap is, is right here, when it comes around Okay, Here's now the what's the deal like right, right here? Look at the, is that? That's how it is, that's for water to get into the ballast bags. Let me lift it up a little bit more so you guys can see. Oh yeah. The ballast bag on each corner, and that adds stability to life raft. They automatically, obviously, fill with water. Exactly. And then <laughs> it's a rudimentary system of keeping some stability in the, in the life raft. And this, these are so if we need to flip it over. Exactly. T you know, typically they won't be all the way upside down. You know, the raft might be on its ear because it's got a canopy. The, the tube that goes for the canopy is going to float anyway. So, but you want to remember, put your feet on the bottle and then you can flip it that way. Put your feet on the bottle. Yeah, you don't want to flip it, the bottle over towards your head. So if your feet are... You know, this is the heavier side of the raft. It's got a gear pack in it, which you can see here. Or it's, it, it's packed in here. It wasn't thought I'd start flipping it. All this is, is right here when the raft comes out. So that's the heavy side of the raft. So feet on the bottle. Yeah, because I know that I might. Yeah, well, we've got additional flare, some water, and rations if, if you want to supplement. Well, I'm thinking not in the pack, right. but for me to take yeah. a put in a grab bag. Yeah, these, you can see there's only so much room in one of these packs, so when it's it's pretty much full, it's pretty much full. It's not, right. you know, we could put a couple medications or whatever.